We're gonna do a remote start install. We've actually filmed this before, but we did it at the old shop, and the old shop was little. And working on GTRs is hard in little shops because it's actually a big ass car. So I'm gonna actually have John film me tear the panels off and swap the remote start install on really quick. It's basically plug and play. So shouldn't take too much work and we should be done in about 15, 20 minutes. Let's go. So we have the install instructions on the iPhone right here. I'm just gonna flip through really quick and uh, go over all the, the instructions as I install it. But the fastest way is just to start pulling panels off and getting to it. So I'm gonna take this panel off, there's a little side trim that goes along the door sill. It's got a little hook at the end and then it's just got a bunch of stuff that pops straight up out of place and I'll show that to you. So there's nothing holding it down. It's just these little tiny clips that are just pushed into place on these little white guides. And then this is the kick panel that where it's the uh, the little little side panel that we got to pop off. It's got one little plastic nut at the top and then it just pushes out of place that way. So, let me just get to that. And then this can be very sticky sometimes. I popped this one off already, so it came off easy. So there's the little bolt that holds, that the nut holds down right there. And then uh, these guys have little metal clips that really don't like to come off of here too easily. So if it's hard to pull off, it should be. The first time you ever take that panel off, it should be pretty uh, pretty stubborn. But after that, it's it's easy enough. Um, it'll feel like you're gonna break something or you're all worried. Just try not to hurt yourself when you're ripping your fingers out that way. So from here, everything is plug and play. We've got the BCM right here. It's got a couple plugs that we're gonna pull out of the, the factory position. And then we're gonna install it into this harness. So this might look scary. It's not, it's super, super straightforward. So we've got a little green plug and a green plug here. So that green plug is gonna come out. It's gonna go into here. This is gonna go right back in its place. So we've got a few little steps like that. The instructions will walk you through it. Brian did a really good job at putting this together. And so here it shows you the same thing I was just talking about, pulling the little panels off. And now it's gonna actually give us instructions on what to do first. So I'm just gonna shut up, read this, do it, and uh, I'll post the instructions as well so that you can actually see what I'm doing as we go. spade to the ground. So now this guy right there. Carport. So there's if you look right here, this picture, to the left of the steering wheel, there's like a little port and you insert the key right into it. Okay. No not like that! I'm just kidding. Jesus! <laughs> You scared me. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Hold the button right there. Hold it down and then insert that four pin wire. So let me find the four pin wire. And then I will do that. I'm glad I scared you. That's awesome. Okay. That says. Insert the remaining connectors. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it down. Release the button when yellow is illuminated. Yellow. Press and release the program button twice. Okay, it says yellow LED will flash twice and off, twice and off. Wait a few seconds and it will go solid. It's solid. Push the start button once and wait for all three LEDs to go solid. So let's push this once. Don't step on the brake. And 
all three are solid. Now it says push the button once more to turn ignition on. Okay. All right. Now wait for the blue LED to rapidly flash. Push it once more to turn ignition off. Push the button twice to turn the ignition on. The flash for a minute. It says this can take up to three minutes, but it never does. It just takes a second. Wait until just the yellow LED flashes rapidly. And then push the button once more. So it's programming the car right now. It's actually program programming the key fob. There we go. Now push it one more time. Turn ignition off. And we're done. So now you can remove the key from the key port. And let's test it. So if I did it right, all I have to do is hit the lock button three times and it's gonna start the car. If I did it wrong, I get to look stupid right now. This has happened a lot of times where I try to show this feature and then I do it wrong for some reason. So you wanna make sure that you hit the lock button nice and, and firm on here, but not super, super quick. Otherwise the thing won't register it. So let's try. Let's see what happens. DRL should come on, I hope. DRL didn't come on, but the car started, so I'm good. To turn it off, same thing, three times. Some kid on YouTube thought that I planted a, a small person on the inside of the car to start it. Let's go look inside the car and see if there's a small person in there. There's no small person in there. Anthony is not underneath the steering wheel. <laughs> so, I heard Jack laughing about it, but... um. Yeah, so it's a, it's a pretty cool feature. All right, so normally this stuff has a switch installed by going like right here and right here. All that that thing ever does is it disables the remote start unit and people accidentally kick it. So I'm not gonna put that in this car. You can, but don't even worry about it. If you do that, you pop the little panel down, the instructions tell you how to do it. I just advise people just keep it simple and, uh, and it's good to go. Anybody that has a ride controller that wants to integrate this in there, there's a yellow and black striped wire that's gotta be clipped and then that sends the ground signal, the ride controller sends the ground signal to this. In another video where this technical stuff is needed, that's what you do. You clip that wire, hook it up to the ride controller and it will then integrate ride controller with remote start. So now all we have to do is pack this crazy wad of wires up into the kick panel right here and make sure all this is laying nice and flat. Put our panels back on and we're golden.